Okay, I don't know whether you can hear me, but here we are at Hillhead. If you can hear some commentary, could you let Daz know? Part of this experiment. We're trying through Bluetooth at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Whitley Bay Reserves are playing Kemfika in the Challenge Cup. And a cross comes across. It's going right behind the goal. And no problem for... I think that's Callum Elliott in the Whitley Bay goal, who's having to go and fetch the ball. Yep, under the fence. Um, oh no, he's not gone for the over the top, he's just gone for a, a bit of a snip underneath. So, the ball's being played out the far side. The long ball being played forward into the Kamsika half. Controlled by one of their defenders, and it's helped for a corner for Whitley Bay. On the far side. Got big guns going up there. Looks like I think that's Brian Dunn going in there. Okay. So the cross comes in. And it's had it at the far post. Ooh, just zips over the top of the angle of crossbar and post. And apparently we have got commentary as well. So that's fantastic. Well, whether it's fantastic for you or not, that's another matter. But there you go. We've got something to listen to. So. M. Feet, the goalkeeper, he's looking out for options. Everyone seems to be going off to the far side. And a ball straight down the middle of the pitch. Headed back by the Whitby... Defender, but then lost it for by Kamfika, looking for their two def two attackers. And it's cleared uh, for a throw into Kamfika. Taken on the far side. And played through. Number 11 for Kamfika, managed to get the ball. He still has the ball, managed to avoid one tackle. Plays it back to the Kamfika defenders. Being played out to this near, far, near side. And a ball played through the middle. Cleared by number five for Whitley Bay. Oh, and there's a challenge there. And it's going to be a free kick to Whitley Bay. Rather a pleasant evening in Whitley Bay here. Unusual for April. We've had a bit of a time... There's lots of nasty cold weather. Anyway, the cold, the ball being played forward. And we're into that corner. It's going out for another corner, the referee. Signals on this near side. Right, it's going to be taken by number eight, I think it is, for Whitney Bay. Again, everyone heading towards the far post. And it's laid out for a crowd. Ooh, a header comes... Whistling into that into that far po into that far post and uh, headed off the line by Kemfika. And now Kemfika trying to clear, but when Whitley battling away, there's a lovely little tussle there going between number eleven and Kemfika and the Whitley player. Oh, and offside there. And the no point in playing on with that one. It was offside. Two two Kemfika players were offside. Nice little break, if not for the uh, offside. So, we've been played around with the uh, Whitley players. Whitley defence. Played back to Callum Elliott. Callum Elliott plays it to Dunn, I think it is. Dunn plays at number five of Whitley Bay. And it's on this near, near, near side. A long ball being played down the pitch. And shielded by number ten for Whitley Bay. To number seven. And there's number four for Whitley Bay. He's, he's laying it again. Controlling the ball. Looking for an option. Uh, cleared into space. And now Kempika are trying to break. They've got two players screaming for the ball. Ooh, and just cut out there by uh, by the Whitley Bay player. I think it was John there. Um, and is that an offside? Yes, it's an offside for number nine for Whitley Bay. I'm sorry, I haven't got my team sheet with me. Number nine caught off offside there from the long ball.
Right, and I've got a team sheet now, so hopefully I can read it. That was number nine. Evan. So we've got... Offside, free kick being taken. Led forward. Oh, no problem. Nice shout from uh, Callum Elliott there. Uh, they're both being played. Oh, there's a bit of a misunderstanding there. Well, Whitley still got possession out with uh, out on the far side. Brian Dunn nips inside. There's a long ball. Number seven for Whitley. The ball never reaches him. Uh, the can kick a clearance completed there. Oh, but it's ended up at this uh, being chested down by number two for Whitley Bay. No sign of a uh, handball there. Oh, a lovely battle in there going on between number seven of Whitley and and number eleven. Good tussle we're having there. Long ball being played forward by Kemfika. Onto this, onto the far side, on the wing. He shields the ball, lays it back, back on the wing. A ball across into the centre of the centre of the field, being played now to the. Uh, to the centre back for Kemfika who lays a ball forward. Oh, and there's a oh just knocked out of the way of the Whitney Bay player, uh, just out of the Kemfika player's feet and cleared. So played across again. Kemfika laying the ball forward there, number number. Number nine. So the ball being played back to the left back. Number two and a big boot for down the wing. Being chased by number nine for Whitley. And it's been chested out for a throw in to Whitley Bay. Uh, that was uh, uh, Brennan playing the ball down the wing. And it's Brennan. Can't read the handwriting. Brennan. So, Brennan's going to take the throw in. Chested. Played back to Brendan on the wing. Laid inside. The number seven for Whitney. Smith. And again, laid forward into the centre of the field. And Whitney retained possession. Number four. That is Laidler, who laid the ball. Oh, and the goalkeeper's gone for a little walk off there, away from the to try and collect the ball. Uh, he's banked his goal now. Whitley still has possession. It's on the edge of the penalty area and it looks like it's going to be cleared by Kemfika. And over the halfway line. Uh, cleared by Dunn. But picked up by a midfielder for Kemfika. Plays it out to this near side. And a little dinked ball there. Oh, again. Like that little touch there. Now Whitley Bay are on the attack in number nine. Oh, just not the uh, camera there. Apologies for that. I'm commentating and I'm camera. Camera working. Camera operator. Camera empresario. You choose camera novice. Camera idiot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we would have three here, but uh, Ian Killen sitting there. Uh, I think he's doing his, uh, his roots, isn't he? Yeah. So, Ian Kinnan, enjoy doing your roots because it's a cracking game here. Anyway, a header comes in. Oh, just a header coming in from Brian Dunn, I think it is. I'm sorry, he's the only one I recognise because uh, he's uh, he's been a regular for the first team. And he's had a oh, about about two metres two metres wide. Anyway, so we've got the yellow shirted Kemfika goalkeeper who's ready to take the uh, goal kick so he's going to go straight down the pitch yep straight down the pitch uh, challenge comes in oh done look at that heads the ball forward uh, but a uh, bit of a bit of a clearance there and now it ends up with Whitley on the attack again picked up by number 10 for Whitley shields it lays the ball back oh no it's gone out for a throw in but it's a Whitley very throw in To be taken by number three for Whitley Bay. Spin. 
Oh, and uh, an inter- good interception there from Kevin Faker, and then another interception from Whitley. Ends up with the ball at a number at the Whitley, at the Whitley feet, and a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a um, grass cutting shot doesn't go anywhere near the the goalkeeper, and it's all being it's all a bit messy, and it's ended up with a goal, um, a free kick to Kemfika. Anyway, so Kemfika now have a free kick for offside or. Oh, we'll do the show. And apparently, Bo has to get in there. Right, so the ball's been laid down onto this near side, onto the wing. And Whitley clear the ball. Oh, a little bit of a sandwich there, but Whitley have ended up with the ball. Number nine for Whitley was in it. And a lovely little ball out to the far side. Number 10 for Whitley Bay. Crosses the ball in. Oh, zips across the penalty area. And it uh, looks like he's going to go out for a Kemfika throwing. Nice bit of play there. Number 10 for Whitley Bay. Uh, Matty Weirs. Was it Matty Weirs? Is it Matty Weirs? Yep. So Matty Weirs. Uh, lovely little cross. Um, just couldn't get the connection there. So out on the far side. Oh my. Well. I am. I, I just that there's no need for that sort of language. I do apologise. What you call Brian done? Right. So um, <laughs> the ball's being played out to this near side, and it's Kem Fika on the attack. Oh, there's a little tussle going on. Challenge there. Was it, was it a free kick? No, it's not. And the ball's played out. Oh no, it's going to be a, it's going to be a throw into Kem Fika. There's a bit of Bit of uncertainty about that challenge. Uh, referee says no. And can Fika have a throw in? Uh, ball played into the area. Cleared out of out, out the way. Headed by number seven from Whitley Bay. But can Fika remain in possession? But no, they don't. It's now it's now in possession of Whitley Bay. And a long ball being played forward. And the lemon-coloured uh, goalkeeper picks up that ball. Bit of an aimless one. And he's uh, laying it out onto the far side. Again, oh, little tucks the ball inside. It's on the edge of the penalty area, the Kemfika penalty area. Onto this near side, number six, the, number six for Kemfika. Just knocks that ball into number 11. And a nice little interchange there. Oh, there's a little breakaway here going on. Oh, and, he's, and the number, number nine for Kemfika is stored. He just slotted that ball past Callum Elliott. A lovely little finish, really coolly done. I will tell you his name. Number nine. On my other piece of paper. Um, I think he's called Luther Kareem. Oh. Team. Sorry, I've got a handwritten sheet and this is not very clear there. But a great finish there. 1 0 to Kemfika, and it is quarter of an hour gone. Did we finish it? Did we start at 6 15? Yes. So, there, how about that? I wasn't prompted for a time time check. And the ball's gone out for a Kemfika. That's all right. We totally understand. Daz, the uh, DJ Daz, he's getting all the uh, all the gizmos. He's got about 23 screens here. It's like something out of Blade Runner. Wires everywhere. There was wires. I didn't even know you could put wires. Anyway, so... Whitley Bay looking for this equaliser. The ball played through by Dunn. Controlled by the Whitley Bay forward. Played out to number two. For Whitley, a cross comes in. And that looks like it. I heard the word Potsy, so Potsy's got the ball. He's laid out to number two again. Number two just skips inside and enters number four for Whitley Bay, who lays it across. And it looks like the, uh, Whitley trying to play it 
out onto that far side. And another long ball heading in towards there. Ooh, and a, the ball zipped off the Kamfika defender. And uh, a bit of a challenge going on there. And Kamfika have won the goal kick off the Whitley Bay player. Who was? Number seven. Oh, I've lost my piece of paper. It's gone through. It's gone through a bit of a fly. That's number seven, Smith. So, goalkeeper plays it out to this side, near side. And, uh, and the referee says it's a Whitley Bay throw in. Being taken by number two, Brad, that's Brennan. Headed clear. Uh, number four, Laidler. Plays it forward to number ten, Matty Weirs. But again, he's not able to get anything, any joy from it. Can Fika come away with the ball? Laying the ball inside. A ball cleared up the, up the pitch. Number three, Finn. Or is it Batty? He laid the ball forward. That's Laidler in the middle of the field. Laying it out wide. Uh, eventually ends up to Brennan. Brennan nips a little ball in through to the Whitney Bay forward. Number seven. Smith. And he has won himself a corner. So, corner being taken. There's running into the, to that, to that near post. A back, far post header. Oh, headed off the line by, uh, by the Ken Fika player who, he's all right, yeah. As the ball zipped over the goalkeeper. It wasn't a zip, it was more a lock. Anyway, it was headed off the line, it's a corner. Corner comes in, the Ken Fika player, manager, uh, Ken Fika goalkeeper came for it. But it just glanced wide. And my head's getting a little bit cold, so I'm going to put my hat on. All the vital information is on here. Crikey. I might get stage fright with 70 people apparently watching. Thank you, all of you, for listening to this game. Uh, it is... I'm watching, I'm watching, yeah, video this time. Well, how do you know I'm actually focusing on the game and not looking at the pigeons? Anyway, he's just got blind faith in me. And he's got 20 million screens that you can look at. DJ Daz, what a man. So, throwing on the far side is going to be taken by Finn. Or is he called Batty? I don't know. It says on the team sheet, Finn, stroke Batty. And... Whitley Bay managed to, uh, the Whitley Bay player managed to keep, uh, he managed to keep control there. That was Matty Weirs. Anyway, a long ball comes in towards the, towards the penalty area. Uh, controlled by the Kempfika defender. And he's trying to, oh, he's managed to squirm it out, but it, oh, it just, just zipped, uh, not zipped, it sort of rolled it towards the, uh, towards the penalty area, but it was cleared. And now we've got a throw in on the far side. In the sunshine. Do with your bag. Little ball. Oh, little little side flick there. Lovely little cross comes in. Oh, good take from the uh, uh, the goalkeeper Dewa for Pemfica. I'm really resisting the temptation to call him Benfica. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of a, a nudge there from number six, Brian Dunn. Oh, a nice little. Control ball over his head from uh, number six, Whitley Bay. Done? Is it done? It looked like done. Anyway, but it's done now. Anyway, so seven. Smith tried to leap for the ball. Couldn't control. Couldn't control it over his head by about, about, about half a meter. And Kenfika on this touchline. Oh, sorry, the camera work is rubbish. I can't get the staff to this one. Ian Kinnan, you've missed a bit on your highlights. He's finished doing his roots, Ian Kinnan. And now he's doing his highlights. He's given himself a... Uh, he's going to look like Pat Sharp at the end of this. Those people who know what I'm talking about. 
I was commentating for half the season with Ian. He will be back uh, next Tuesday, I think, we're doing a, a commentary. Definitely Tuesday. Maybe Saturday. We'll have to look, wait and see. Anyway, oh, the ball's there. Uh, ball's controlled over there. I was thinking about with Saturday's arrangement. Anyway, so it's Laidler who launches that ball. There's a lot of long balls being uh, launched down this uh, first line. And we've got an offside. Willie Bay caught offside. Twelve fifteen on Saturday apparently is the kick off. We will uh, confirm whether we are here or the or not. Is it here? Yes. Uh huh. So of course they might not invite us back. Willie Bay are losing. They might go, we don't want those guys anywhere near this ground. So Goalkeeper playing the ball down in the middle of the pitch. Oh, number number 11 for Whitley. Potts didn't manage to get to it. Over his head again. And it's being controlled in the centre of midfield. In the centre circle. I can speak of being laid out onto on this near side. And a four little ball. Oh, there's a challenge there. No, referee says play on. Balls with Dunn. Jamie Dunn. I got it right that time. Out to Brennan. Brennan, a long ball, booted. Put, a laces through, put his laces through that one. Uh, but it was cleared. Uh, back with Dunn again. And doing a little ball out here onto this side. Brennan. Brennan plays it inside to Laidler. Laidler to Brennan. Brennan, oh, a little clatter there. The referee says, no, nothing going on. Uh, An attacker there. Kettle, Kelty, sorry, not Kel Kettle. Uh, he's a bit of a, a live wire, that one, Kettle. Not him, it's Kelty. Anyway, a ball's been launched, launched forward. And in the, in, the, in, the, in the hands, the safe hands of Dewar for Kemfika. Launches the ball out to his near side. Again, there's a clearance from Whitley Bay. Another header. Okay, so we have got uh, number seven, Smith, crosses the ball in but but uh, goes straight to the feet of a Kempika defender um, and cleared, but uh, Brennan has the ball and then a number eight has cleared the ball forward, uh, was, it, was it Matty Weirs in there? I couldn't work out, no it wasn't Matty Weirs. Um, I think it might be Evan, and he was just hooked it back, but uh, no joy. But we've got a bit of a scramble over here, just outside the centre circle on the far side. Uh, it's a free kick to Whitley Bay, which is going to be taken by Laidler. And that hand was down there. We're on one camera. On a one camera. Yeah, a one camera stream. Laidler plays the ball in. Looking for. Looking for the Whitney player who managed to launch the ball and uh, it didn't quite reach him. Now we've got Brannon uh, uh, done, sorry. Launched the ball, but it was uh, a meter over the, over the bar. That was almost a chance. I think it was Evan headed the ball across the, uh, across the box, across the six yard area. And... Uh, didn't didn't get didn't manage to get turned in cleared shot came in from Brannon at the end there a little bit of a, a clash there of heads but it looks like they're okay um, no magic sponge no physio uh, running in they didn't even roll three times it's a bit disappointing it's a real injury three times a roll so it's none of that because it's real men okay so the ball is headed on. And Evan uh, is uh, he managed to lay that ball forward. Whitley Bay, Matty Weirs, oh, and it's uh, it's blocked by the uh, the Kempfika defence. But we are starting to get Whitley Bay having a few more chances. They are creating a bit more. So it's on the far side. A cross is going to come in. 
cleared for a corner. Oh no, Whitney Bird still got it. Ball being played in. And it's Jamie Dunn running down that far side, crosses it in. And Matty Weirs, oh, it just squirmed away from him, cleared by the defender. And we've got a bit of a breakaway going on here. It looks like, though, um, it's going to be cleared up by Brennan. Brennan back to Callum Elliott. Elliott plays it to Brennan. Brennan looking to play the ball down the line. There's nothing on. So, now it's being played into Dunn. Dunn looking. There's a runner on the far side. He takes the ball forward a little bit. It's going to Matty Weirs, but uh, no, it's just, just a little bit too far for him. And the ball goes through to the lemon-shirted Dewey. Okay, so he kicks down the centre. Oh, it's going to the far, far wing. And we've got number five, Kelty. Kelty with the ball still. A bit of a, a, bit of a swizzle. Turns the turns and keeps possession with the ball now to Brennan. I'm getting good with these names now. To number seven. Smith. Smith. Still, oh, he's laid the ball forward. And a little jump there. That ooh. Uh, we've got I think I think it's Matty Weirs in there. And we've got Evan. Oh, tries to get the ball across. Cleared. Yeah, it was for a throw in. A throw in to Whitney Bay. Camera work was shoddy there, wasn't it? Shocking. Anyway, it's going to be a throw. Taken by Brennan. Oh, it's, it's flicked on and met by a Whitley Bay boot. Still not cleared. Whitley Bay still have possession there. And number eight goes down for Whitley Bay, but it was no way. It was a penalty. Oh, a lovely, lovely challenge there. Number nine for Kareem. And uh, he's down. Oh, a little bit of cramp there. Challenge, I think, is on with a Whitley Bay player. Goal scorer, Kareem. Still down. Okay. Right, so he's up. He's all right. Throwing, being taken. Chested down by the kicker. Oh, nice bit of skill. Nice bit of skill there from number 11 for Kanfika. But uh, it ends up going out for a Whitley Bay throw-in. Being played out onto the far side. Uh, it's been all Whitley, mostly Whitley Bay possession, but Kanfika has the goal that counts. Ball being played forward, and Kempika, oh, fouled, oh, Kempika, fouled by number 10. Matty Weirs, and it's taken quickly. Kempika around for his near side. Ball being launched forward, and it's out. So, what are they throwing? Brennan launches the ball towards Evan. Again, it's clear. We just can't seem to get that possession. Hold that possession for Whitney Bay. Kemfika launched that ball into the centre. Number 11. For Kemfika. He's having, a, he's having a good game at number 11. Uh, who launches another ball. Finds the player, but uh, he's crowded out by about three Whitney Bay players. Uh, number 11 for Kemfika. He's called McDonald, I think. Sean, no, Sean McDonald. I can't read the hands right now. I think it's Sean McDonald. Anyway, camera works a bit slow while I look at the team sheet. I've got a team sheet in one hand. I've got a camera in the other. And I'm making a cup of tea with my nose. And oh, I had a, had a go in. Oh, and it's offside. Apparently I'm doing a grand job. That's what my mother says. Thanks, Mum. She's giving me a cup of tea. She's giving me a straw. No, oh, she wouldn't. You probably say to me, "What are you doing out there? It's cold. Get yourself indoors." I hope you got your scarf, and I've got my scarf on. It's all right, mum. It's all right, mum. Right. So, Kemfika, Jua.
So, ball being launched by Dewa uh, over the head of Kamfika player. Brennan has the has the chance to throw it in. Does so. Launches it forward uh, to Evan. And uh, Whitley Burnell being forced back. Again with Dewa. And across to number five, who is Kelty. Kelty to Finn. Oh, and he's just possessed. You might, oh, no, he's fouled in the, in the process. And Whitley Burnell got a free kick. Just on the edge of the centre circle. Inside the Kemsika half. Being launched. Forward into the box. Is there a header coming in there? Ooh, a header. Glancing header, but easily uh, picked up by Dua in the Kemsika goal. Still 1 0 in this game. Uh, with half an hour gone, 32 minutes gone. That's the second time I've read the score without being prompted. Oh, Laidler trying to peer the ball with no effect. And it's, it's uh, no, the number nine again, and he slots the ball in, and it's a save by Elliot. Elliot again. Oh, and Elliot managed to hold on to that ball at the second attempt. So overcome with it, with excitement, that I didn't move the camera. Anyway, apologies for that. And the ball being crossed in. Whitney Bay controlled. Uh, Matty Weir controls it. Now with that Johnny Weir, again a shot. Ben uh, Kemfika are getting their bodies in the way of every single Whitney shot. And Whitney going to have to be a lot cleverer than that. Kemfika trying to clear that ball, but the, the Whitney midfield doing a really good job of closing it. Laidler this time managed to control it. Oh, a little bit of a high ball before that, but it's okay. Number nine, Kareem. Oh, and he forced a mistake there. Good play from him. Forcing the mistake from... Uh, from Kelty, I think it was. Bit of a... Bit of a misunderstanding there. Ball through to Kareem. Oh, but cleared. Oh, but no, it's not cleared. Number eight is playing the ball forward. And eventually it's headed back to Callum Elliott. Ah, he rolls the ball out. So, ball being played forward on that far side. Whitney Bay has the ball at number nine. Evan, and he has managed to play the ball forward. And Whitney have won themselves, I think it's a throw-in. Uh, somebody's not happy about that. And the ball gets crossed in. It's cleared by Ken Seeker. Brennan looking, looking for his options. Lays the ball. He hasn't got very much on. Uh, but now we've got Kelty. Plays the ball into the centre. Back to Dunn. Dunn with a long ball into the penalty area. Didn't manage to reach anybody. Number seven for Whitley. That's Smith. Managed to lay the ball back to Brennan. And there's a battle going on there, which ends up um, with the ball going out for a Kemfika, a Kemfika throw in. But that was a lovely, lovely tussle there between Smith and uh, the Kemfika midfielder. Yeah, number 11. What's he called? McDonald. Yes, he's still called McDonald. Fantastic. Is it Malcolm McDonald's son? Sean. Maybe, hopefully not. Anyway, so number eight, oh, brought down for it from Whitney Bay, but uh, Jamie Dunn's got the, uh, oh, well, Jamie Dunn managed to uh, retrieve the ball and then launched this fantastic shot, which uh, has just dislodged, oh, yes, it has, it's dislodged a pigeon. And, uh, yeah, it might be the one, there was a pigeon's nest just above here uh, when I arrived in, and it uh, took a look and said, cool, I ate football, and said, I'm off. Well, it's probably going to watch, uh, uh, is it Coronation Street tonight, or is it East, oh, is East Ended on every night? Anyway, Laidler with a long shot in that, probably the best shot we've had. Launching that ball to, be, be towards him, towards uh, Duet, but no, no, no joy there. Anyway, the clearance has come out to uh, number three on this side, Finn. Oh, is it Batty? Oh, and a lovely little ball being played inside. 
and Whitney have got the ball in the penalty area, and it's all, oh, and <laughs> the ball came out to uh, the Whitney player on the far side, and uh, unfortunately he skied it over the bar, really. Let's name and shame him, shall we? No, he's not going to show us me. He's not going to show us his number. Far side. It's unlucky. I couldn't have done any better. Although my grandma could. Yeah, it was number 11. Ah, Potts. So, unlucky Potts. He's in the right place at the right time. Well done. So, Ken Fieger clearing this ball into the centre. Uh, infield. Long ball. Oh, but there was no match in number 16 for Ken Fieger against Jamie Dunn. It's like having Mickey Mouse against, um, I don't know, the Hulk. <laughs> Not that I'm saying he's got big ears, of course. Uh, so the ball's being played. Either room. Nobody's got big ears before anybody comes up here and demands to know why I'm comparing it to Mickey Mouse. And the other one wasn't green either. So I got a coat. I'm really wearing it. It's cold. Right. Number three for Whitney, uh, for Canfiga. Launches it towards Kareem. And it's cleared by Jamie Dunn. Whoa, over the over the halfway line. Picked up. No, it's picked up by Ken Fieger. No, but again, it's uh, it's given to number seven for Whitley Bay. Uh, through to Evan. Oh, he just didn't manage to control it. And it's just slipped out uh, for a throw into Ken Fieger again. So, oh, somebody's scraping things. Is that you? Oh. Anyway, so, <laughs> is it going to be a throw in? No, a, go, a, a free kick? No, it's not. We had a Camfica player down. Both being played down this end. But again, it's cut out by Camfica. Oh, but he's managed to cut it out in time. And it's a go, uh, throw in to Whitty Bay. Being taken by Brennan. Brennan. Looking for options. Finding. Finding Evan, I think it was. And now it's back with Laidler. Laidler, just a lovely piece of skill there to control the ball, pull it away from, uh, drag it away from the, the, the midfielder. A long, a long shot there. Into the hands, right down the throat of Dewar. Oh, we've got Ken Fika playing down. He's not very happy. Uh, the ball's been, I think he says he's, he's hurt his head. Yeah, it could be a head injury. So you've got to stop the game there. So who is it that's going to be the uh, physio for today? Nobody's going to be the physio. Oh, they've got a bottle. No, I thought they were going to take a bottle of water out for him, but uh, Manny Weir wants to drink. Anyway. So... Ball's played back to Dewar. And Whitley Bay are going to start the attack again. No, no, they're not. And Fika are going to clear it. It's clear down this side. Back on this near, near side here. Won, who just won it? I think probably, I think it was the Ken Fika player who won it uh, against Brennan. So it's gone out for a uh, throw in. Whitley Bay, which is then clear, played through to Matty Weirs. Matty Weirs, oh, Matty Weirs played the ball through to number eight, Johnny Weirs. And uh, they just couldn't find pots on that far side. And the ball just drifted out. And it looks like it's going to be a goal kick. No, it's a throw in. The, uh, the far touch line for Whitley Bay, uh, uh, Whitley Bay is there's quite a gap between the edge of the field. The pitch is quite, I don't know whether it's quite small or not. But anyway, it looks like a, there's a big, big space between the, the advertising hoardings. Anyway, we're going to be on the attack again. So we've got number nine, Evan. Oh, loses possession. Ken Fico on the far side. Nice little drag back by, by, by Kareem. And the Ken Fico players are trying to stay on side. Kareem's still, still got it. He needs, to, he needs to pass that ball off. No, he doesn't. He needs to get, put it in his own goal. But there you go. He's not going to. Anyway, Ken Fico has managed to get the ball in the centre circle. Sorry about that. I just got the camera in all the excitement. Ball straight back to Elliot. And 
Elliott lays the ball into the centre. Oh, little little touch inside from Dunn. Dunn moving forward, plays it to Brennan. Brennan down this near side. Plays it inside, inside to Kelty. Kelty plays it to, oh, a bit, bit of a hard one there from, from Smith. And Smith's got the ball again. Oh, we've got a free kick to Whitney Bay. No, there's a challenge going on there. It was number eight for uh, for Kemfika. Thank you very much, all those people who are listening from Kemfika. Apologies for my bias towards Whitney Bay. I am trying. Uh, Whitney Bay launched that ball in the header comes uh, comes in the penalty area, but it's uh, it's cleared. Uh, for a throw-in. Now down to number eight. Oh, number eight for Whitney Bay. He tries to dink inside Johnny Wears, uh, but it's come off a Ben uh, Kempfika boot. And it's uh, is it Johnny Wears again. Oh, he's trying to... He has to lay the ball back to Laidler. Laidler lays it to Brennan. Brennan, a nice ball out to the far, uh, far side. We've got Pot. Pot's a lovely cross-in. Cleared very well by the... Uh, Kemfika defence there. Number 11 for Kemfika. Lays it back. Ball launched for us towards Kareem. Uh, no joy there for them. Uh, they're still battling though. Kemfika still have possession. Laid forward to number 11 for Kemfika. Is that McDonald? Wow. Good memory. It was McDonald, but it went out for throwing. Uh, now we've got Matty Weirs. Matty Weirs on, on, the, on this near side by the corner flag. Plays it inside to... Smith. Smith played it across to, to Smith played it to Johnny Weirs and uh, it's been launched out for a throw in to Whitley yeah Whitley and just for a change Brennan's going to take the throw in launches it infield and a nice bit of control there from number 8 Johnny Weirs Whitley Bay have the ball. Oh, it's, it's still at the Whitley Bay boot. Laid out far on this on, on this near on this far side. Cleared by number eight for that's McLean for Kamfika. Harry manages to head the ball away. Oh, and he's got himself a free kick. Being pushed by uh, by Dunn there. We get a little bit of a, a little bit of a hug from Dunn there. That's lovely. Nice to see good sportsmanship. So, Dewar. He's just uh, halfway between the centre circle and his penalty area. And he's going to launch that ball. I think he's going to go straight down. It looks like we've got three Kenfika players up front. Oh, but it's going down onto this, far, onto this far side. Headed forward by number three, Hutchison for Kenfika. And... Headed out for Whitley Bay throw in to be taken by Smith. Smith plays it forward to to the Whitley forward. Laidla manages to keep the ball going to Kelty, to Kelty, and then to Dunn who managed to ride one challenge there. Lays the ball out to Brennan. Brennan keeps possession. Laidla lofts the ball over. We've got a tussle going on there, which is won by the Ken Speaker. Defender and now Kemfika on the attack. We've got three against four. Oh, a lovely ball being played over to Kareem here. He's just uh, uh, just beaten to it by by Dunn, and uh, that's Dunn launching the ball forward. And oh, Matty Weirs racing down on this far side tries to jink round. He's got two Kemfika, two Kemfika. Defenders with him. Whitney Bay still on the attack. And we've got a challenge on the far side. Won by... Uh, oh, gone out for a, a throw into uh, Whitney Bay, but could have been could have been anybody's ball there. And we've got... I would say that's probably about 45 minutes. And we've got a substitution going on now. We've got number 10. Uh, Thomas Long... Coming on for Kemfika, and we've got Kareem coming off. So, 
So, Kareem coming off, number 10. Uh, Thomas Long coming on. Uh, hope he hasn't waited too long to get on. Aha. Apologies. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I am. Right. Anyway, so, ball's being launched forward by Kamfika to Thomas Long. And then Long trying to race for that. He's in there with, with Kelty. Kelty managed to clear the ball back through to Elliot. And he manages to get the ball out to Jimmy Dunn and a long ball. And the referee decides that that is enough. The referee, Charlie Ford, says thank you very much. First half is at the end. Uh, Whitney Bay Mill, Kemfika, one. When the drink hits my lips, only makes you think about how we kiss. Only makes you think about what I miss. I'm just gonna take another sip and reminisce, reminisce. Only makes you think about how we click. Only makes me think about how you quit. I'm just gonna take another sip and reminisce, reminisce about you not being honest. No, this isn't what you promised. Change your mind and now you want it. I wish we never ever started. Oh, I know that you'll be calling. I tell myself that I don't want it. I don't know why you let me fall in. How'd you get so heartless? Should've never put my all in. How'd you get so heartless? Should've never. Think you only make me wanna start and make strings to get rid of the feelings I can't keep in. I'm just gonna take another sip and reminisce, reminisce. You only make me realize you waited, and too many times I've let you walk back in. I'm just gonna take another sip and reminisce, reminisce about you not being honest. No, this isn't what you promised. Change your mind and now you want it. I wish we never ever started. Oh, I know that you'll be calling. I tell myself that I don't want it. I don't know why you let me fall in. How'd you get so heartless? Should have never put my all in. How'd you get so heartless? Should have never. And I'm gonna say how I feel. No commitment, I don't want nothing real. It's the same thing every day. I'm overtired and I'm underpaid. It's just that we're real to say. All we do is work, 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 work. We want to be just slow down. Take somebody and go down. Who's taking me home now? Daiquiris on a beach 
you came for we can do it we're made for say oh oh, 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 oh. this is what you came for we can do it You're so predictable, so unoriginal Yeah, my heart aches, but I make it look easy It's only visual, we're only physical Your voicemail knows my feelings Trying to teach you what love was But you keep acting up, it up And making me look needy You're too forgivable, this makes it difficult But I make it look easy You got me thinking that you're more than just a waste of time With something and nothing Don't want to feel love only through the night We could have made it It's too complicated I don't need this anymore I don't want to talk If you don't need see me when it's dark I don't need your love See you never ever no more I got nothing left to fight From you, I can find someone and make it all right. I don't like pressure and I don't like stressing, so tell me why I'd even waste the time. You'll hate it when I'm gone, it's when you crawl back. Remind me that I'm still attached, but I know that I'm good and better without you, so can we just leave it at that? You got me thinking that you're more than just a waste of time. With something and nothing, don't want to feel love only through the night. We could have made it. It's too complicated.
Okay, we're back for the second half. This is Martin Tyler. Actually, no, it's not. It's nothing like Martin Tyler, apparently. So, but better than Michael Owen. So, you know, thank you very much. That's uh, praise indeed. Um, I will be sending the usual five pounds to your mum. She doesn't even know who Michael Owen is. Never mind. So, still one nil. Bit of a bit of a collision in the middle of, middle of the field there between uh, Mr. Mr. Long. See, Martin Tyler doesn't have to sit there, do the camera, and have in his hand. Two bits of paper, I might say. Two bits of paper. Not that I'm bitter about this. Kidding, I hope your highlights are going really well. I've decided to talk like this just to annoy everybody. So, I'm not from Yorkshire, but I've decided to be. Where's Martin Tyler from? All right, so we're going, we're going to... Uh, oh, that? that's Lancashire, isn't it? I remember... Oh, we've got time. Apparently, I'm very excited. We've got time running. So, Whitley have the free kick. Stepped over the... And the header comes in! Yes! And the header glanced over the top of the diving dewer. And Whitley have got that equaliser. I think... I think, yes, I think it was Brian... It was not Brian Dunn. It's Jamie Dunn. So, straight away, that's what Whitley Bear wanted. So, Martin Tyler is from Cheshire. So, Cheshire is, is it... All right, it's from Cheshire, isn't it? I don't know what accent that is, I'm sorry. I was trying to do Scouse, but... Cause that's near Cheshire, isn't it? All right, I'm from Cheshire. No, I'm going to stop. Right, so Whitley Bay in the centre circle. 1-1 one, one here that we have played. How many minutes, Maestro? I can't see. 47-24. So 47 minutes gone. Whitley Bay 1, Kemfika 1. Um, Kemfika battling really, really hard in that first half. So we deserve to be a, for their efforts to be ahead. Uh, we just have to, and they're going to be a dangerous side in this second half, so we're going to have to watch out here. So, Kemfika, a free kick launched towards the box, headed in and picked up by uh, Elliot. Elliot lays it out onto the far side to Brennan. Brennan launches a lovely ball down that far wing, cleared into the uh, allotments. No, it's not, it's cleared, uh, cleared into the, um, the industrial estate. I was trying to think what the... Uh, it's the car centre, isn't it? So there's a car centre over there. Just, uh, yeah, because you can get yourself some lovely cars there. Um, uh, blue ones and red ones. Some white ones as well. Anyway, so, Whitney Bay on the attack. Number two, Brennan. Lays the ball across back into the centre circle there. Um, building up, Whitley building up again. Now we've got number three on this side for Whitley Bay. Jinking inside, one to the other. One pass, pass one, pass two. Lays the ball off to... Number 11 for Whitley Bay. And it's Matty Weir, uh, Johnny Weir. And he's fouled the... He's fouled the uh, Kenfika attacker in the process. Number eight for Kenfika. That's McLean. John McLean. It's not John McLean, actually. It's Dan McLean. Anyway... So, Dan, uh, Dan McLean. It's nothing to do with John McLean. Not even Christmas, so we can't talk about Die Hard, can we? It's not a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas no, movie. It was released in July. What, was it? <laughs> yeah, but it's got Christmas in it. Never. Goodness gracious me. Controversy. Had it clear. Had it clear by Whitley Bay. Go and get us on that Christmas movie thing about, about Die Hard. It is a Christmas movie. Anyway, so, Kemfika, he's got Christmas presents on it, there's a Christmas tree, goodness sake, Christmas, it was just brought out at the wrong time, anyway, so Whitley Bay, the ball cleared off, uh, Kemfika to, 
defender where it's the number them them figure uh, <laughs> Martin Tyler, I am not. Yeah. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Applications for the post of uh, commentator for Whitley Bay are being open are open at the moment, so have a go. The ability to talk dribble for 90 minutes is essential. So. Who? So, Whitley B on the attack. It's all done. He's, he's doing his best to keep the ball. And he's, he's dribbled through about two or three challenges. And uh, Kevin Figo has managed to get the ball themselves. Launching the ball off. Jamie Dunn. Throwing, coming in. Oh, but that that, uh, that ball has just been ended up being cleared onto a, a Whitley Bay forward back, cleared again by Kemfika. Out on the far side, but Kemfika has managed to con uh, get the ball on that far side, but it has been intercepted by Whitley Bay. And now it's a Whitley Bay throw in, bouncing off the Kemfika attacker. And now it's gone out for a Kemfika throw in which is being taken by number three Hutchison and he's looking for options down that line but headed forward by Whitley Bay now ending up at Kemfika's the feet of uh, the Kemfika midfielder who has managed to keep control that's number eight he's playing and he lays the ball off and now it's number seven he plays that ball forward and Kemfika managing to keep control. That was good play. Very tenacious there from number 16. KV. Is it KV? Davy. Joe Davy. Apologies there. Kemfika writing. Blame everybody else but myself. I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. He's absolutely useless. At least I'm better than Michael Owen. <laughs> so it's a corner being taken on this near side. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a bus stop going on, on on the edge of the penalty area. We've got four Kemfika players rushing in there, and it's gone to it's gone it's ended up with a Whitley Bay foot. Uh, foot. Oh, the challenge there, unlawful apparently. And uh, the Whitley Bay was barged over there by number eleven. McDonald getting in there, maybe a bit too strong for the uh, referee's liking. So, play it out to Dunn. Dunn playing it to number three for Whitley. Nice control there from Evan. Evan loses possession there, and Lerdler managed to get in, get in the way of that uh, that ball. Now it ends up with the feet of Matthew Weirs, and he's fouled by the number four. It's called Declan. Can't read the writing. Declan Stable. Honestly, Mike Martin Tyler doesn't have to deal with it. Shocking handwriting. I wish you the handwriting. It's terrible. Anyway, a flick header. Ooh, collected by the uh, in the safe hands of Dewar. Dewar lays it out to number seven. Tries to jink his way past uh, number eleven for Whitley Bay, but doesn't manage it. And it, that ball, the clearance, ends up at the feet of. Laidler, Laidler ends it to Matty Weirs. Matty Weirs just possessed on the edge of the penalty area. Looks up at the sky in disgust. And now we're at number 11. Battling away for Ken Fika. Lays it back. Across to this wing. Number 7. Long boot finds the forward. For Ken Fika. Uh, forward to number, number 4. Lays it forward. A little 1-2 little there. Oh, and if Kemfika had found that ball through, there, there would have been a one-on-one -on -one situation. But luckily, the ball didn't roll for them. And I've also been played down this far, this, this near side. Uh, and it is Evan. Evan plays it inside, but Lerdler has been challenged. He manages to uh, shield that ball. And lays it inside. It's the penalty area. Kelty. Plays it inside. We've got Matty Weir's trying to shield the ball, but uh, 
Number six for Kemfika comes away with the ball, rolls it out. Jordan, he's called. No idea what his first name is. Shocking handwriting, eh? Oh, sorry. See, I'm no Martin Tyler, and I'm no Richard Attenborough, or David Attenborough. Anyway. Absolutely hopeless. So, first in the centre circle, we've got a bit of a few shouts there for a, a high boot there. Uh, Ball's gone out for a throw in. Being taken by number seven for Kamfika. Little flick on, which ends up the feet of uh, Dunn. He managed to keep control there. We've got a race going on here. And it's the. It's Devon who managed to force the uh, clearance from number five for Kamfika. Called Scott. What was that Scott who used to play for, for, for Newcastle? Kevin Scott. Not him. A bit younger. Anyway, Kevin Scott, he's probably about 85 now. So, number two on the, two, number two on the far side, Brennan, uh, tries to push the ball past, but uh, the uh, Kevin Fika defender is aware to that one. Pushes the ball out. Number five for Willie Bay. Lays that forward. Brennan again launches that ball low on the ground. And it looks like it's going to be cleared by Kamfika. Yes, it is, but uh, not, not uh, convincingly. And oh, Dunn's managed to keep the ball. He's managed to keep that ball rolling. And he's not managed to control it. And it's gone out for a throw in. Kamfika. It's a, it's a bit stoppy start here. It's, there's no real um, advantage to either team at the moment. Score remains one all, and we're I think we're 23 minutes into this second half. And again, my camera work is off because I was looking at my piece of paper. So it's corner to Whitley Bay. No, it isn't. It's a yeah, corner to Whitley Bay. Thanks for taking my Brennan. So, lining up. And the ball comes in. Looking for Kelty. Oh, and the shot comes in. Just, uh, well, quite a bit high. Too high for the, uh, for the Kamsika goalie to be bobby bothered about that one. Knocked a couple of seagulls who were having a bit of a perch on top there. Knocked them out. They weren't very impressed. Gladys and Dave were the seagulls. Anyway, good friends of mine. Make a lovely hot pot. Anyway, so Kamfika are on the attack now. Oh, there's a challenge going to him from... Uh, from Done, and it's going to be a free kick to Kamfika. On this, on this near side, we're going to have a substitution as well. So, uh, number 15 for Kamfika is Cola Oliver. Oliver, no, oh no, yeah, that's not him. No, I can't read that. Oliver something. I uh, can see who came off there. Apologies there. Right, so we've got number two for Kamfika. Yoxel, the captain. Oh, and a lovely take there. Lovely, lovely shout and take from uh, Elliot there. Callum Elliot managed to uh, keep the ball there. Lovely shout and catch. Um, it's been played in the middle. Laidler looking for a, a ball forward. And he's had to play the ball out wide, but... Uh, Little, little effort back. Laidler back and lays the ball forward. Number nine for Whitley. Oh, and he's pushed his man over. And he's given us a, a, a foul. And Whitley Bay again. Frustrated. But a bit too physical there from Evan. So, 
just on the edge of the penalty area there. Sun's getting in the way of viewers' vision. He can't see where he's where he wants to when he wants to send the ball. But he's launched it down that far side. Headed clear by Dunn. Controlled by number 15 for Kemfika, and he manages to get the ball forward. Lovely ball, tantalising, uh, but the Kemfika player doesn't manage to get it. But Kemfika have got the ball back. A mistake by the Whitney Bay midfielder. And now Kemfika on the, uh, being forced back by Whitney Bay. Lovely little little drift there from uh, the centre back. Roach gives it to number seven. A lovely ball down this wing. And that's uh, the cross has uh, managed to be cleared by Whitley. And now it's inside. Now Whitley Bear on the attack. Whitley Bear goes down. Oh, it didn't seem to be a foul there, but he, he, was, uh, he was unbalanced, in my opinion. My humble opinion. But uh, Whitley Bear have the free kick. And apologies because we seem to be having some internet problems with, with our connection, but we'll keep going. So the ball is launched into the... Oh, and the camera's gone off. No, it's back on again. That's gone out for a, a throw-in. Ken Fig going to be taking the throw-in. So, we've got um, a substitution looming for Whitney Bay. Kemfika are coming forward. They're trying to, they're appealing for offside there. The Lions, Linesman seemed a bit reluctant to do that. But Richard Coulson apparently is, uh, is getting ready to come on. Another player with first team experience. And it's uh, done in the centre of, center of, of the defence. Plays it forward. Uh, and, just, and Finn is dispossessed. And uh, he's managed to keep the uh, throw in. Ball launch forward, flicked on. But cleared by the defence. 1-2 played. Oh, there's no 1-2 there because uh, Evan's not going to get give the ball, but he has launched a lovely little ball through. And as Matty Weirs was uh, was falling, he managed to slide that ball through uh, and Whitley has managed to keep possession. Got Brian Dunn. Brian Dunn. Ball, Brian, Jamie Dunn. Jamie Dunn. Jamie Dunn passed it to, Kel- to Kelty, but he, uh, unfortunately, he... He managed to give possession away. Then possession has come back to Whitley. But now Whitley on it. Whitley having to defend. No. Oh, Elliot with a very, very, uh, a very, very skillful interception there. Even though the uh, attempt was offside. And now we've got a ball being played forward. And we've got Johnny Weirs plays the ball forward to number eight for Whitley. He's still got possession. He's looking for someone to pass to. Oh, he tried to flick the ball over his. Over the defender, but uh, in the end it was just cleared. And now we've got Kelty. Oh, oh, sorry, apologies. Kelty, and he managed to deceive the defender. And now we've got the ball. Uh, number 11 for Whitley Bay. Launches that ball, and it's gone straight into the allotment. Uh, and it's uh, ended up in. Uh, oh, it's a. A bunch of bean sprouts that have been. Uh, uh, growing there, just missed uh, the guy's prize mangoes that he's growing. What he's doing growing mangoes in the northeast, I have absolutely no idea. I did tell him, don't grow mangoes in the northeast. I don't grow in Wintley Bay. They just don't work. I'm just going to give him a shot. Anyway, so, ooh, there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of discontentment down on there from the uh, Campica bench, and. It looks like we are going to get that substitution. And we've got number 12 for Whitney Bay coming on at Coulson. And going off, we've got number 11. So, Potts. So, Potts off. 
and cool to them. So play it forward. So Kevin Seek are on the attack now. Down this wing, a lovely roll, run from number 16. And the ball has ended up launch, being launched towards the Whitney goal, but it's cleared. Cleared by Callum Elliott. Very well indeed. And so on this, on this near side, on this far side, sorry. We've got, uh, we've got Whitley trying, uh, Whitley Flair trying to dodge his way through two or three challenges there, but still retaining possession there. Whitley down this, down this wing. And so number 12, so Richard Coulson there. Crew to done. And being controlled, the ball being controlled on the edge of that penalty area, but cleared. And there's a ball coming across there, spotted by Kelty. It's a very, very good play. We've got a Whitley Bear player down at the moment. Uh, he doesn't look very happy about that. Number eight. Uh, Johnny Weirs. Yeah, Johnny Weirs. He's gone down there. He's just having a... He looks like he's having a bit of a... Yeah, he might be carrying on there. He looks okay. Anyway, so on number four for Whitley Bay. That's Laidler. Laidlaw plays that out wide down onto the wing. And then he, does it, he gets the ball back. This time to Richard Coulson. Richard Coulson takes on the defender. A couple of stutters. And uh, launches the ball into space. And uh, there's plenty of time for the uh, defender from Kevin Speaker to clear the ball to number 16. And he manages to, oh, he managed to clear the ball, but doesn't go away very far. And it's through to Whitley Bay. And we've got uh, Matty Weirs steaming down on this near side in the penalty area but caught offside. So, so 67 minutes gone. Whitley Bay won. Ken Fika won. Now we've got Dewa. Going to take this, uh, take this goal kick. Quite a low one. Oh, which evades the uh, Whitley Bay challenge and it's out for a Whitley Bay throw in. And it's Laidler. Laidler playing it through to Dunn. Laidler playing it the long, long ball to Richard Coulson. Who, does he manage to keep it in? No, he hasn't managed to keep it in. Quite a little bit of a, a, a sort of flick at the back of his heel, but didn't manage to keep that one in. Can take over the throw in, launched it down. And can take on the attack, laying it in the centre midfield. Being played forward now. And some lovely passing going on from Ken Fika. Playing that ball through. Oh, intercepted by Dunn. Oh, but a, a bit of a challenge there. Uh, and uh, luckily it ends up with the gloves of Callum Elliott played through to Laidler. Laidlaw. And playing it forward. Whitney on the attack through that. A lovely little... Uh, well, there's a true ball there, but it didn't end up with a Whitney Bay player's foot. I think I can see that the pitch is getting a little bit icy. Maybe a little bit icy because the conditions... Very clear sky. But getting a bit cool now. I've got my gloves on. Martin Tyler would have a flash of tea. So a challenge up for the, the off that off the, down here on the near side. Just inside the width of the half. Tried to course and tried to flick it on and then he's gone for a challenge as well. But it hasn't worked. And now it's Ken Fika with number sixteen there. He's launched the ball through. And uh, it oh it just ended up at uh, Callum Elliott in Callum Elliott's hands again. But uh, these long balls are uh, causing, causing a few problems to with today. The long ball again. Being played forward to Matthew Weirs. Headed clear. Whitley, clear. Whitley managed to get control of the ball. Oh, a smashing, belting header. You didn't see that one, I'm afraid, but it was from, uh, from Brian Dunn. Oh, it's brilliant. And now he's, you know, he's, it's all right. His socks are fine. He's pulled his socks up. Anyway, what man, magnificent. What a header. Sorry you didn't see it. Anyway, long ball played through. You did see that. There's nothing really to see, though, was there? Uh, through to Dewar. Dewar launches that out to the far side. Uh, 
And being played in the centre, challenged by Richard Coulson. Willie managed to ladle him, and he just uh, pushed the uh, Kenfika player off the ball and uh, is penalised with a free kick. Anyway, Kenfika on the attack. Lovely ball played through. This is gonna one of these balls is gonna end up Oh and Kenfika Elliot has managed to it's been beaten on that far post. Elliot's back in goal, but Kenfika still have a chance. And the Whitney players surround the ball and eventually it's cleared. It's cleared unfortunately towards a Kenfika midfielder who plays the plays the ball out. Oh he plays a through ball, a lovely through ball there. It's number eleven for Kenfika. And oh and in the middle of the field, that ball was just knocked over from number 10, from Kempfika, number 10, Thomas Long. Thomas Long just knocked out of his, uh, out of his, uh, out of his reach by uh, Whitney Bader, um defender. And so it's a, free, it's a corner kick. Corner kick to Kempfika. Kemfika, corner. Played in. Oh! And I'm not sure what happened with that one, but it, uh, the ball seemed to end up at the far post. Just needed a touch. And went out. So, thankfully for Whitley Bay, it's uh, Callum Elliott is managing to make the... Uh, it's got the goal kick and it's not been a goal. So we've got Gascoigne coming on. And Laidlaw is coming off. So Gascoigne. Any relation? So we think the nephew. Paul Gascoigne's nephew. Bamba Gascoigne, yes. I'll give you a start at for 10. So Bamba Gascoigne. Very clever man. Nothing to do with this young man here. We have Gascoigne coming on. <coughs> Apologies for that cough. Anyway, so the ball is being played. I'm being told to move the camera. To number seven for Whitley. Johnny Weirs. Johnny Weirs. Played inside. Johnny Weirs again. <coughs> so I'm going to have a little, little drink of this calypso. Mm, lovely. Through to Kamfika, he tried to loft the ball over his head. Didn't manage to come off. And Whitney managed to clear the ball through Kelsey. Oh, and you didn't see any of that. <laughs> I didn't have the camera move. Anyway. So, a ball being played out to this near side. And number 12, Richard Coulson, lays the ball off to Evans. And now we've got number 12, Richard Coulson. Oh, and it was just stolen off his feet. Coulson was just about to apply the final touch. And a last-ditch defender. Um, defensive challenge came in to throw in. So we just... Oh, and their the trainer's coming on there. And he's uh, racing across there. Not seen such speed as that since. Uh... Oh, we're gonna have a substitution there. Looks like he's uh, number three for Kamfika Hutchison. He's gonna be going off. Or is he? Was it number three? Number three is down. One of the Kamfika players has just managed to get number eight. He's managed to get probably the biggest uh, bottle. McLean has just managed to get the biggest bottle in history uh, to take a swig from. Probably about about four litres. Oh, unfortunately, number three for Hutchison is going off. And Heppel is coming on. James Heppel. And we've got a lot of help in the chat as well. Oh. oh, come on, Heppel. Well, no, I don't. Sorry, Heppel. I want you to do well, but please don't score a goal. Anyway, so 
We've got the ball being played across to number nine, Will Whitby, and it's, it's cleared by Kamfika into the, into the midfield. Ball played forward to Matty Weirs, and now we've got sorry, the ball being cleared by number eight, the Kamfika. That's McLean, who had the biggest bottle um, of water ever. It's in the Guinness Book of, book of, book of Records there. So we've got two Whitley Bay players going for the ball, and it's it's still in Whitley Bay possession, just down there by this near side. Cleared by Kemfika. And then we've got number eight for Whitley Bay. And we've got a, a bit of a challenge going in there. The Kemfika defender. Oh, it's number eight. McLean. John McLean, he wouldn't he wouldn't take that, would he? It's still not a Christmas it is a Christmas movie. And uh, the ball is headed back uh, by our own little elf, Jamie Dunn. And we've got Kelty coming clear with the ball, who is also a good friend of Santa Claus. There you go. Anyway, Jamie Dunn. He lays the ball forward. He ends up, despite uh, number 16 for... Before Ken Seeker managed to get in there, it uh, ends up back at the feet of Elliot. It's been a long, long day. That's why I'm slowing down. Number three for Whitley Bay. Lays the ball inside to Matty Weirs. Now to Evan. Evan, ooh, with a little, little, little ball launched towards uh, Dewey, but uh, Dewey collected it easily there. So, ball played through. Managed to avoid two Whitney Bay challenges, but number 14 for Whitney Bay almost snatched it off uh, Kemfika. And it's now being played down the wing. There's no Kemfika forward there. So, ball launched down this wing. Cleared. Number 16. Nice skill there from Ken Fika. Launches the ball. Is that Davy? Is, is it Joe Davy's fan club is here? I, no? Joe Davy. Nice bit of skill there. His mum would be proud of him. And his dad would be proud of him if he belted it off the Whitley Bay players' um, backside and managed to get a throw in. Anyway, so the balls, but Whitley are on the attack now with Richard. Coulson, who launches himself forward, and uh, now the ball is being cleared by Kamfika, number 16. For Kamfika, he managed to dodge one tackle, lays the ball up. A lovely ball played out from number, number seven on this side. He's got space. He lays the cross in. It, oh, it avoids the uh, Kamfika forward. And now it's out with Richard Coulson, who's challenged, and Kamfika managed to get the ball back. It's now on this wing, laid back. Whitley Bay have possession. Oh, a lovely little, uh, little, little hop and a skip um, that, you know, would be worthy of a, like an elf. And uh, Whitley, uh, Matty Weirs was dispossessed. Ken Fika have been dispossessed now. <coughs> it's all getting very exciting. And we've got a tumble in this centre, uh, in this, uh, in right in front of us. And so it's Whitley Bay free kick. Evan going down. And it's going to be um, Matty Weirs. Offside is the call. At 12 yards out, I think it was about two or three Whitley Bay players who were offside. Whether that was a marshalled free kick, a marshalled offside trap there, we'll give, uh, we'll give Ken Fika the benefit of the doubt. Of course it was. Dewey. 
looking for options. It's usually everyone's going off to the far onto the far side. So it's going off to the off the air. The ball goes off to the far side. Headed forward by Kemfika. And we've got a one on one. Oh, a tumble there from a Kemfika player. Cleared by Whitley Ray. Richard Coulson lays it to Dunn. Dunn lays it forward. To Matty Weirs. Matty Weirs managed to hold possession. Plays it back to Dunn, who is now joining. Oh, Kelty, who's joining the attack. Kelty looking for options. He's got he's got options on this side. It plays it inside. Now to three. And headed for uh, controlled there by Evan, but it didn't manage to get anywhere. Uh, but Whitley managed to retain possession there. Ah, oh, and the ball just goes out of the of the boot of uh, Brennan onto the far side. And is that number 14 who's going to take take it for... No, he's left it for number 11. Ball played forward. Headed free from, free from Kelty. Ooh, a little bit of a... Little bit of a coming together of uh, two players there. Number 16 for... Kemfika and number 8 for Whitley. Ball's gone out for a throw into Kemfika just on the halfway line. Right, coming up to 82 minutes. Eight minutes left in this game. See, I've been teaching maths today. Fantastic. So, clear the. Oh, a lovely little, uh, lovely little turn there from the rookie player. Ball played through. Ah, oh, but that ball wasn't good enough. But he managed to return possession. He retakes possession, and it's Richard Coulson on this near side. Curls, uh, managed to keep possession of the ball, and then the cross comes in after the ball's laid back to him, and it's just gone out for a throw-in. If it was Christmas, he would have come down with a bit, a little bit of snow on it. And the pigeon has decided he's a ball boy, or a ball pigeon. He's probably annoyed that I've disturbed his nest. Just above my head. Yes, Pigeon Street. What a show. Yeah. We're showing our kids' age. Anyway. So. All those fans of Pigeon Street. Pigeon's gone now. Sorry. So, we've got... Uh, we've got... Ball being controlled in the centre circle. Ball launched onto this far side. Well, this near side, Sorry. And a tackle there from number seven for Whitley Bay. Ball rolls out. And it's a throw into Kemfika to be taken by number seven. Number seven looking for options. There's players moving all over, uh, moving left, right, and centre. Um, William Walker, I think it is. And we've managed to get uh, Kemfika. We've got a corner. Oof, it's a corner. So, Kemfika, players heading into the box. Try and get this winner. Ball comes in, comes in. Got a header coming in. Oh, and it just avoids, just evades the, uh, the, the forward run. And it goes out for a goal kick. Which is taken quickly. Played along the back line. Kelty. To Jamie Dunn. Jamie Dunn. Through ball. Uh, to Matty Weirs. Matty Weirs managed to control it. And he's, oh, he laid that ball through, but uh, unfortunately the only person who was there was Dewar. Dewar's now picking up the ball. Looking for options there. I think he's going to play it. No, he's not going to. He was going to go and take it short, but there's no one there. So he's taking a long one. Down this way. And Dunn is marshalling that ball, but it's managed to, it, it's been taken off him by a, a, a Kemfika defender and a, a Kemfika attacker, and then it's ended up being cleared. So, ball being played now by Whitley Bay. Controlled by Evan. Evan holding off his player and running the box. Oh, number 14. That's going. Just chip that over. A little bit too high. A 
not a bad effort though. Although I do remember Paul Gascoigne scoring from a similar position and uh, against Crystal Palace. Marvellous shot. Nestled in the top uh, top corner of the uh, net. 1-0 in the FA Cup. I'm sure he hates being compared to any, any other Gascoigne. You know, Gascoigne is on right. So, still Whitley Bay on the attack with Evan. Evan launches a shot in. Dewar, safe hands there. Straight in his midriff. Again, he wants to play, play it close, but there's nobody there. He's looking for options again, and he's going to go along. On to this, through the centre. Ends up hitting a, a Whitley Bay player. That's going. Plays the ball to Coulson. Coulson just jinks around. Looking for an option. Threads that ball through. To number eight. For Whitley Bay. And then Matthew Weir tries to, tries to get the shot in. But it's uh, right against the number two for, for Kemfika, and he's cleared it for a corner. That was very young, I think it is. Oh. Anyway, Whitley Bay have got it on the number eight for Whitley Bay. Uh, he's trying to jinx his way through, but it's been cleared by Kemfika. Whitley Bay has still got possession. And a great challenge there from number 16. Davy, Joe Davy. He he pushed the ball out for a throw in. Uh, the ball being played now to number seven for Whitley, and that's gone out for a throw in. Cleared off the Kempfik up there, and that's Gascoigne. And have you won himself? No, the ball's still in. Ball being launched that far post. No, Richard Coulson just just trying to get to that far post. And glancing that header wide. Well, I've heard somebody say there's 10 minutes left, but uh, we don't agree. 87 minutes, so all your mathematicians out that means there's three minutes left. Yes, congratulations. Uh, ball being played forward, headed clear by Dunn. And driving forward, we've got number nine, Evan, for Whitney Bay. Uh, he loses possession. And then number eight for, for Whitney Bay is, uh, well, there's lots of people saying he's fouled, but uh, Kamfika have got the ball. Number 16, Heppel, lays it through to number seven with a lovely cross coming in, shielding the ball. Oh, he's just, uh, the, the Kamfika player just can't get the ball out from under his feet. Uh, it was number 10 for Kamfika. I don't know if uh, Jamie John has managed to get that ball, cleared it, and broken to number six for Kemfika on that far side. It launches in what looked like the perfect cross, and it was because uh, it was knocked behind by the uh, Whitley Bay defender. It's getting a bit dark here. Maybe we could put some floodlights on. No, because that costs money. We don't want to do that. Controversial. There's only a couple of minutes left, so... Woof! There's a big kick there. New balls, please. That one did come down with snow on it. So, Ken Figa trying to get this late winner. Oh! The ball headed away from there. Uh, Elliot and now being cleared, a big boot out away and headed back towards the goal by Ken Fika. It's at the, at the feet of a Ken Fika forward. Is that a foul? Yes, it is, the referee says. So uh, it's going to be a free kick to Ken Fika. Closing moments here to be taken by Thomas Long. No, Thomas Long has stepped away from the ball. We've got number eight instead. Dan McLean. Is Dan McLean going to come up with this? Uh, is he going to bend this ball past the three-man wall to win the game like his namesake? John McLean. Christmas movie. Okay. Long run up. Launches the ball. Ooh, not bad, not a bad effort, not a bad effort. And that ball is just over the top there. And uh, thankfully for Whitley Bay, 
it has gone out for a goal kick. And now we're back with um, Jamie Dunn. He's moving forward and his options are getting shorter. And now that's a, ooh, number 15 for 90 minutes have been played. Ken Speaker is still battling fiercely. A dogged performance here from Ken Fieger. And a ball launched out to Richard Coulson on this far side. Headed away. Ken Fieger player, number seven. Uh, oh, managed to do a little step over there. And number 16, Heppel, I think that is for Ken Fieger. Lays the ball forward um, for Whitley Bay. And then that's number seven, Matthew, uh, Johnny Wheels. Launches that ball forward. And it's cleared by Ken Fieger's number 14. And number 14, who is it? It's James Apple. Way. Okay, so the throw-in is taken to number seven for Whitley Bay, Johnny Weirs. Johnny Weirs loses out. Oh, but Johnny Weirs tries and battles again. Manages to. Oh, he's, the ball's being kept in. He shielded the ball with his body, and now it's coming in. Matthew Weirs inside launches across a. Cleared by number two for Ken Fika, and eventually cleared as far as Jamie Dunn in the, in, this, in, the, in the center of the pitch. And he launches a big effort, and that is, oh, it's just avoided someone's marrows. Just growing there. He's planted them about two days ago. Arthur Appleton. He's had an allotment since 1733. He's been growing marrows since, uh, since he was a nipper. Yeah. Very, very proud of them. It's won many prizes. Anyway, the ball was just past, just, just uh, hit the wall before they went to them. People often say, there he is. Look at his marrows. Anyway. So, Dewey is going to be taking this. Well, I think we're into, in, into injury time. Launch down. Headed away by Jamie Dunn. Oh, and number 10 for Kim Fika. He's one. He's he's managed trying to avoid Kelty. Kelty, don't. No, there's not a foul. The referee says no foul. He manages to avoid uh, to stop the Kempika player getting the ball. And uh, that is definitely a chance for them. But great defending from Kelty there. And that's a free kick for for Kempika. Played quickly. Taken too quickly for the Kempika players, and it's. Uh, Ended up with a Whitley Bay player, and it, and that is that is full time. It's a, a very dogged performance from both teams, and uh, I think fully deserving of a one-one draw. So, not sure when our next broadcast will be. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm afraid I'm definitely Tuesday, but we'll find out about Saturday. I'll have to ask my wife. Anyway. Thank you very much for listening. Are we still broadcasting? Okay, thank you very much for listening. And uh, this is the first time we've been back. First time we've had sound and vision. Uh, thank you very much for listening to Baywatch TV. Well done, both teams. Whitney Bay 1, Kemfika 1. Goodbye.